Yes, today I spoke with the current behavioral health department who says they're seeing an increase in need of their services because the pandemic is taking a mental toll on people. And that's why it's so important to have a good diet and practice proper exercising, especially at a time like this. Yeah, if you think about fatigue, you really need to start with, well, what makes people get tired? And stress is, is the big pusher when it comes to COVID fatigue, whether it's the, the stress of the unknown. That unknown is causing lots of issues for many people. According to a study released by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, it states that during late June, 40% of U.S. adults reported struggling with mental health, substance abuse, and suicidal thoughts. Current behavioral health shares some signs that you may be experiencing pandemic fatigue. Like a pendulum swing. So if you see emotional pendulum swings going on, if you see a lot of signs of depression, either the inability to sleep or I can't stop sleeping. Um, the inability to eat is a sign of, of anxiety or I keep turning to food or drink or other things. And so what the common thread there is it's out of balance. Bill Walker with Kern Behavior Health Services says pandemic fatigue takes place when individuals become frustrated with the prolonged safety measures put into place. But ignoring these necessary measures could be deadly and prolong the pandemic. It's tiring. it's tiring keeping up the effort. It's tiring not seeing your relatives and your friends. Um, and it's a lot of hard work, um, but we've made an impact. We have flattened the curve. You know, we don't talk about that much anymore, but our hospitals remained healthy. We flattened the curve. We did what we were asked to do, and it made a difference. Uh, now we face yet another challenge. Some tips to cope with pandemic fatigue is making sure you're getting enough sleep, maintaining a healthy diet, and to not be too hard on yourself. And give yourself, you know, some self-tolerance that you understand that you can't meet every need that comes at you. You can't deal with every problem, um, and it isn't necessarily the end of the world. Um, and so you would ask that people give themselves a break. And another great stress reliever is incorporating exercise into your daily routine. Doing things like this is essential because the pandemic will be around for the foreseeable future. This is a long race. It's not a sprint. Current Behavioral Health ads, they also have a hotline available if you need to talk, and that number is on your screen. That's 844-863-7002. In Bakersfield, let's get in 23BC News, connecting you.